Your morning news now. Three people are in critical condition. One is dead after an overnight shooting in Hollywood. But this is a developing story. We will have more details as they do come in. Meanwhile, a manhunt is underway in New York after a shooting in Times Square that left multiple people wounded. They are expected to survive. Police in Colorado Springs are searching for a motive after a gunman killed six adults at a birthday party before killing himself. And in Arizona, a shooting at a hotel left one dead and seven injured. The multiple shootings may reignite the gun debate in Washington, which quieted after a string of violent incidents last month. Unfortunately, these sorts of attacks are becoming more frequent. A top U.S. fuel pipeline is shut down following a cybersecurity attack. The Colonial Pipeline Company shut down its IT systems on Friday, closing the channels that run from Texas to New York. The company says the attack was carried out using ransomware, an extortion tactic criminals use to get inside computer systems, steal data, then demand money for its release. Experts say the longer the disruption lasts, the more likely it is gas prices will rise. The White House says the federal government is working with the industry to avoid shortages. Just over a third of the U.S. population is now fully vaccinated against COVID-19. However, 14 states have less than 40% of their populations partially vaccinated with Mississippi at the bottom. This comes as even more states are turning down doses with Wisconsin asking for just 8% of its federal allocation, while Illinois and Kansas are both asking for just 9%. Fire safety company Kitta is recalling hundreds of thousands of smoke detectors because they don't actually alert users to fires. Affected models are true sense smoke alarms and combination smoke and carbon monoxide alarms. They were sold at retailers like Walmart, Home Depot and Amazon between May of 2019 and last September. No incidents have been reported yet, but people with these alarms should contact the company for a replacement that works. Visit kittatsalarmrecall.rsvpcomm.com to submit a claim. The company promises to send replacements within three days of receiving claims. Well, it was a cool weekend and we're going to start off the work week cool as well. Temperatures today will only be in the mid to upper 50s, but we do have a warming trend as we head throughout the week. We'll be in the mid 60s by the middle of the week, upper 60s by week's end and the weekend. And we're typically right around 70 degrees this time of the year. Starting today, there will be a lane closure on George Street. It will impact Palace Street all the way to Cunningham Street as the northbound driving and parking lanes will close for repairs. There will still be two way traffic in effect and the street department is asking for drivers to reduce their speed and drive with caution until the project is completed. Another closure you may want to look out for is on Broadview Place at BNSF Mainline Track. This comes between Holly Place on, and 29th Court. It will be closed due to necessary maintenance work by BNSF on the track and crossing material. The Sparta Farmers Market is up and running again and will be happening every Saturday until November 20th. The market opened for the first time this past Saturday, and despite COVID making things difficult, it's actually expanded its size, making it more distance but adding more vendors. The market's goal is to provide fresh produce to all of the community and even educate people on the produce that the vendors are selling. Now we, we also will have a solar roof um, to replace the asphalt shingles. A man in Alaska has a brand new roof, and this one is made from state-of-the-art solar panels. Tesla's new solar glass roof has shingles act as solar panels, replacing normal roofing and allowing them to blend right in. The solar glass may be Tesla's product, but local companies like Lettiger Roofing and Olson Solar Energy can help install the product. The product is expected to last 25 years and comes with a full warranty. Well, most of us are seeing dry conditions this morning, but there's a couple of rain and snow showers in the Chippewa Valley this morning. Those will move through and we will see uh, mainly dry conditions for the rest of the day. Temperatures are in the 40s to start your Monday. We're only going to uh, warm up, though, today into the mid to upper 50s. Thanks for sharing your Monday morning with us. We hope you have a great day and we will look forward to seeing you back here tomorrow morning.